Las Vegas, Joshua Tree and Area 51 in the Mojave Desert of the Southwest United States. The ritual you're about to experience is unique in the world. Rediscovered in the sands of Egypt in 1769, the Bruce Codex purports to contain <clears throat> the secret teachings of Jesus of Nazareth to his disciples. This morning we'll be performing a ritual from the Bruce Codex, the opening of the treasury of life. I'm David Griffin. I'm Leslie McQuaid. And this is the lost magic of Jesus revival. As you can see, sunrise was a non-starter this morning. We are socked in with rain and, clouds. and rain and clouds in all 360 directions. Now, these are real clouds. They certainly look different than the artificial clouds we see from all the geoengineering. They're all wispy and like that. By the way, it was three days ago that they did major geoengineering spraying again and the following day, the clouds came. And it has rained consistently on Mount Charleston, which recharges uh, one of the aquifers in this area. So this looks very suspiciously like geoengineering to recharge the aquifer. And you can see there, that's rain. See how it's dark and smeary? That's what rain looks like from a distance. Here in the desert. So. All right, so shall we begin? We shall. The sun is the dispenser of light to the earth. May the invisible light of the God Force inflame our souls with abundant life. Our destiny lies amongst the stars, and to the stars humanity shall ascend. Take a nice deep breath and feel into your body. Stretch, breathe all the way down into the bottom of your lungs. Throw your head and shoulders back. Feel into the skin on the inside of your elbow. Get in touch with each and every bit of yourself. As you are breathing deeply and feeling deeply into each and every bit of yourself, visualize yourself as the tree of life, however it is you imagine that tree to be. And grow your branches up high into alpha sky. Drive your roots down deep into Omega Earth. I call on you in the East, Alpha. I call on you in the West, Omega. I call on you in the North, Alpha. I call on you in the south, Omega. Oh, ah. Alpha. At Omega. The beginning. And the end. And the path of the age between. Sunrise. 
and sunset, and the path of the sun between, birth and death, and the path of life between. <clears throat> we stand here now at this place where heaven and earth meet, and with the energy of our energetic bodies, using the matter of our physical bodies, we reach out to the energy in the invisible all around us. Note that it doesn't matter that the sun is not shining, even if it's nighttime where you are, because this electromagnetic field coming from the sun is all around us all the time. Angels of the Treasury of Light, we invoke you. Fu Zaza. Fu Zaza. Eh, u ias. Eksa isi. Eksa isi. And there are twelve heads in his treasury, and these are the names that are in the places. When they sing praises to my father, and he gives light power unto them. Amazoyes, Amazoyes, Zohazaye, Mazazoya Mazazoya 
Öeizazee. Öeizazee. Fozazoi Fozazoi E isazo E Do And thus we created we completed our journey through the places having invoked each of the heads in each place using the names of the mighty angels left to us by the master Jesus of Nazareth until at length we came to the place of the center of the powerhouse of light the place of the father of the powerhouse o oh, father of the treasury of light by your cipher and by your name we invoke you iezema e As always, it is the intention of this ritual to establish human freedom worldwide. Human freedom worldwide. Set my people free. Set our people free. Protect Homo sapiens from extinction. Protect Homo sapiens from extinction. Restore the purity of our air. Restore the purity of our air. Our water. Our water. Our food. Our food. And protect the integrity of our genetic code. Protect the integrity of Homo sapiens genetic code. May all those who search for the waters of life be filled to overflowing with the God force energy all around us. And then in that hour when death comes calling to each and every one of us, may we shed this physical body like a serpent sheds its skin and rise triumphant into the kingdom of light. And now wherever it is that you may be, whatever it is that you may need, perhaps you have a loved one who is ill, or perhaps you have a child who is struggling with addiction, or perhaps you have a spouse who's struggling with alcoholism. Or perhaps your wife lost her job. Whatever it may be, you too are a child of the universe. You too are a son or daughter of the divine. You too can ask and it shall be given to you. With your prayers carried on the wings of angels unto the very throne of the city of light. Amen. So mote it be. Take a moment now to again feel into your body. The magical rite we are doing here together helps you to feel and use more God force energy. It is all around you. All you need do is breathe it in. The completion that you seek 
that nagging feeling that you could be more if you just tried a little bit harder. That can be solved when you bring the God Force into your life. Because in fact, God Force is that little something extra that you've been missing in your life. We are multifaceted creatures with as many different facets to our personality as there are on the face of a diamond. And in fact, we are all diamonds in the rough. The polish that gives us our true shine and sparkle comes from the God Force. And when you bring the God Force into your life through your conscious and powerful will, you will develop a strength, a brightness, an internal diamond-like soul that will shine and persist throughout eternity. So this morning, there was a teaching opportunity, unexpected moment. What do you do when things go wrong in a ritual? Well, this morning, our faithful companion and dog, Ayn, was raising a big fuss about God knows what at the beginning of the ritual. Mm. So much fuss, in fact, that he managed to confuse me, and I got one of the names out of order. Well, what do you do in a ritual when something like that goes wrong? What you do is you fix it the best you can on the way and keep going. You don't drop the ritual. You don't start over. You just move through it. This is what a daily practice is all about. And we are broadcasting our daily practice to you every single day, warts and all. Anyway, if you'd like to know more about the work of the Alpha Omega Free Church of Magic, visit us at alphaomega.church. If you'd like to know more about the work of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, visit us at golden-dawn.com. And if you'd like to know more about the lost magic of Jesus, be sure to download our free ebook that you can still get now for free at www the secrets of jesus.com thanks so much for coming out have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow and until we have the pleasure of each other's company again may the god force run strong within you and as always may your magics work better than expected Yesterday we released this brand new ebook. Was Jesus a magician? Give you the basic background of the rediscovery of the lost books of Yahweh, how it happened, why they were repressed, why it is that the magic of Jesus was nearly destroyed and wiped from the face of the earth, and the miracle by which it survived. How we only have one precious manuscript of this ancient knowledge, and that's truly all there is left. Well, maybe in the Vatican they have it, but they're not about to give us that to fill in the little gaps that we found. So be sure to make sure you download this. You don't want to miss this. You can get it for free for now at thesecretsofjesus.com. Thesecretsofjesus.com. If you're looking for any sort of training in magic, you've come to the right place. Whether it's high magic with the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. Or low magic with Spellwork Mastery. Be sure every Saturday at 9 a.m. to check out our latest teaching video called from one of our very exclusive telewebinar classes. That's right. Every Saturday morning at 9, we premiere a new episode of the Alpha Omega Mystery School live webinar series. We never use a teleprompter, and all the information are things actually asked by real students from our classes. More authentic than this, you're not going to find. So, check out some of the videos down below. I'm sure you're going to find just what you're looking for. Alpha. Oh,